Hey guys, welcome to the 2013 Game of the Year. I did this last year, and I did this around January, but I'm going to do it before 2013 ends. Uh, uh, this is the last day of 2013. Tonight is New Year's Eve. After that, it we are in 2014, so I want to wish everyone a happy New Year. I will have a New Year's countdown celebration tonight with my friend, and uh, yeah, it's going to be great, guys. So, uh, if you don't know what this is, I announce the top 10 game uh, games every year. Uh, in my my opinion, uh, I bet y'all guys have opinions, but I would love to hear y'all top 10. Put it down in the comments, but this is my top 10. All right, coming in at number 10 is... Ooh, Cowboys. Uh, too bad they lost. Coming in at number 10 is, without a doubt, NBA 2K14. Great game. They finally put LeBron James on the cover of an NBA game. I mean, he's the best right now. I don't like him. I actually hate him, but, you know, he's a really good player, and he gets after it, so... Uh, and NBA 2K14, the career mode is so good. It's just awesome. The graphics are outstanding. And NBA 2K14, man, you all you make number 10. All right, coming in at number 9 is Madden 25. Now, a lot of people don't like Madden 25 this year. They're like, oh, Madden 25 sucked. I liked it a lot. It's the 25th anniversary of Madden. They're probably done with Madden unless they make something else. I don't even know what they're going to call it. But um, this is good. And... Another big thing about uh, Madden 25 is owner mode. You can customize your stadiums, and you can, like, freaking um, order your depth charts, and you're, like, a whole owner, and you get, like, good ratings, and it's really fun. Also, you can play online, which is amazing. You have your own records, which is awesome. It has the updated rosters for any injured players in the NFL. It's, like, right what it goes on in the NFL, and it is a really good Madden game, and... I liked it a lot, and there's Barry Sanders, Hall of Fame legend right there, and, um, yeah, Matt, I, the reason why I put Madden 25 above NBA 2K14, in my opinion, is because I like football better than basketball. I like basketball, but, you know, football's my sport, so I think that's why I put Matt, and I, I play Madden 25 more, so I think Madden 25 is up there in there. All right, um, coming in at number eight is Call of Duty Ghost. Now... A lot of people think that Call of Duty Ghost should be higher on the list. Some people thought Call of Duty Ghost sucked. I thought it was a really good game. The campaign was good. Everyone thinks it's about actual ghosts. Like, he 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 survived. He got shot in the shoulder. He died. Just get over it. The guy died. Um, but yeah, this, this campaign was absolutely phenomenal. And I loved it a lot. I thought they could have improved on the multiplayer, but, you know, that's just me. And I can think of seven different games that are better than uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. And uh, don't get mad at me. This is just my opinion. I know you guys have your opinions, and I would love to hear your top ten as well. All right. And uh, coming in at number seven is Battlefield 4. Now, don't get mad at me here. People, people say, people, you know, there's a lot of people with Call of Duty Ghost fans and Battlefield 4 fans are like, oh, Call of Duty Ghost is better no, I think freaking um, Battlefield 4 is better. But, you know, I'm going to pick Battlefield 4. A lot, I think I think the campaign in Call of Duty Ghosts was slightly better, but I think the campaign in Battlefield 4 had more things to do. Like, it had more of a story to it, I thought. And I it, it touched me a lot more than Call of Duty Ghosts campaign did. Uh... Which one was more fun? Probably Call of Duty Ghosts, but which one, like, was more more things to do and more, like, touching me, like, to get into the story was definitely uh, Battlefield 4. And the campaign, I mean, the co-op, um, the multiplayer is good on Battlefield 4. I think that, uh, and right here it says Frostbite 3 Engine, Battlefield 4 put Call of Duty Ghosts to shame. I don't know about that. I mean, a lot of people thought, oh, yeah, Battlefield 4 all the way, or everyone thinks Call of Duty Ghosts all the way. But I'm going to put Battlefield 4 in front of Call of Duty Ghosts, but that's just me. So that is the number 7 mark on the, uh, yeah, that's number 7, right? 9, 8, wait, 10, 9, 8, no, that, yeah, this is number uh, 7. So, yeah. Coming in at number 6 is Batman Arkham Origins. Now, a lot of people didn't like this game. I loved it. I I really thought they rushed the ending though. That's why it's not it's not lower in the list. It's number six. I think they rushed the ending, but the story is fun. The story was short, but it's fun. It makes sense if you pay attention. It's how it all started. How Batman Arkham uh, Origins. I mean Arkham Origins like 
started Arkham Asylum and then Ar uh, Arkham City, which is which is fun. There's a lot more villains in this game. There's a mo lot more things you can do. The Joker in this game is like more entertaining than the other Joker, I personally think. And um I don't know, it's just it's just a really good game. I they did rush the ending a lot, but I like the villains and I like how you can roam around. The city's a lot bigger than like Arkham City, I think. There's a lot more things. There's and Batman Arkham City, I beat this in about 3 days. It really didn't take me that long, but because it's Batman, but, you know, it's really fun. Batman's, like, my favorite DC superhero, so. This is the number six. All right, now, the top five. These are the games that, man, they they touched me pretty good. And coming in at number five is Dead Rising 3. Now, I'm a big fan of the Dead Rising series. Big, 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 big fan. Dead Rising 2 was awesome. Uh, I, I played Dead Rising 1, that was awesome, too. And De Dead Rising 3 is outstanding. You can do anything in this game. It's like a Grand Theft Auto zombie apocalypse. Uh, you can roam around. You can kill. There's a different story to it than Dead Rising 2. I don't want to spoil anything. But uh, there's a lot more weapons. You have a car this time. You can get in a car and run it over. And the zombies are a lot harder. If you get, You're screwed in this game if you get cornered by one of these zombies. Um, but they'll hang on to your car if you just drive, so you gotta be careful with that. And I think the, the weapons are a lot more cool. You don't have to actually go to a table in this game, uh, to create a weapon. You just have to, like, stick it together. And, like, right there, we gotta do it fast or they'll attack you. So, Dead Rising 3 really touched me. I love the story, and that is number 5. Now, coming in at number 4 is Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Wow! Was this game awesome. This is a game that I have yet to beat. I haven't beat it all the way, but I'm already loving it. You can recruit pirate members. You're on you're on the ship for half the game. This game is long, 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 long. But Connor's story is very interesting. He's a drunk, but he's also really he's actually a good guy in in in, in my opinion. But and he's a pirate. Most uh, Connor was an Indian, and Ezio was Italian. So this guy's a pirate. Which is, I like about that. So, he's my favorite. Um, and this game was awesome. Like, th the way that you can, like, recruit members on your ship. And you're on a, you, you, like, own your ship. The water in the game looks amazing. Like, the ocean. It looks so clear. I like how they did the design on the lands and, like, the islands and stuff. And that was really cool. And this is a game that I still have yet to beat. But I want to beat it so bad. And I'm going to work on that. All right, now the top three coming in at number three is Grand Theft Auto V. Now, a lot of people thought Grand Theft Auto V was game of the year. Those are just big Grand Theft Auto fans. I'm not really a big Grand Theft Auto fan, but I thought I know there is two games that are better than Grand Theft Auto V, which makes me mad when people think that Grand Theft Auto V is the game of the year when I know what the game of the year is, and I think I just think that this game doesn't deserve to be game of the year because. This game has an amazing story, but it's just, it's Grand Theft Auto, and it's bad, and it's like just killing, and the other game wasn't about that, it was about uh, a great relationship, so, but Grand Theft Auto was absolutely phenomenal, though, I still loved it, it was, the campaign's amazing, there's, uh, it's just like Grand Theft Auto 4, except better graphics and better stuff to do, and better cars, better stuff, and you can ride in airplanes this time, and the multiplayer is a lot better too, by the way, and uh, this game is just phenomenal, uh, I loved it, but I can think of two different games that are better than this, I'm sorry, I know you big Grand Theft Auto fans want this to be game of the year, but I think, I know two games that are better, that I think that are better than Grand Theft Auto V, so coming in at number two is Beyond Two Souls, wow, was this game awesome, I remember first watching this this play. I don't actually have this game, but I I haven't even played it. I've watched gameplay of it on YouTube many times by one guy. It was awesome. It's the makers of Quantic Dream, which is my favorite. Uh, they made Heavy Rain, which was a phenomenal game as well. They improved on the graphics of Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain was good, but this is just looks so much better than Heavy Rain. Beyond Two Souls was really good. Her relationship with uh, her... Uh, her I guess part of her Iden 
was crazy. I watched the whole gameplay, the choices you can make. It's a very depressing game. It's not a it's not a fun game, but it's very touching. You can get into it. It's sad, it's disturbing, but it's really fun. And there's a lot of choices you can make. And that's what I like in games. You can make choices. Uh, so, Quantic Dream did an amazing job, and they deserve props for it. And that is the number two game. But, there is a game that is more touching than all of these games combined. And that, number one game of the year, is The Last of Us. Whoa, this game was surprisingly... Surprisingly, my bad. This game was surprising. I thought it was going to be pretty good. I did not expect it to be game of the year. Ellie and Joel are have the most amazing relationship I've ever seen in a whole game. It's like Clementine and Lee in The Walking Dead. Zombie apocalypse. And I really like Ellie. She's brave and she knows she can take care of herself. She had to do stuff that she didn't want to do, but she did it anyways. And they stuck together the whole game. And it was phenomenal. And... It was very touching, and this game was outstanding. Game of the year, for sure. I thought it was better than Grand Theft Auto V and Beyond Two Souls. And the relationship was amazing, just like Lee and Clementine on The Walking Dead. And Walking Dead 2... Uh, I would put Walking Dead 2 in here, but it just came out, and there's only one episode. But So I haven't really got to see what's going on with Clementine. I have, but... You know, we haven't seen. We have to see how it ends, and maybe that can be 2014 Game of the Year, unless we don't, unless we get some other games. There was other games I would put in here, uh, but I just think that these deserve it. Uh, tell me your top 10 Game of the Year uh, games of the year 2013. This is without a doubt number one, and I think that uh, I think Saints Row 4 was kind of overrated. It disappointed me, so I didn't put that in there. Um... Any other games you'd like to uh, say, just put it on in here, guys. Tell me your list down below. What are your top 10 games of 2013? And 2014 should hopefully be a good year of games. And, uh, yep, this is number one. And stay tuned for tonight. And Happy New Year, everybody.